So many of you watching know I've got some new clubs in the bag. And today I'm going to take them for their first full 18 holes of golf. The sun is out. It's a little bit windy down here at the Marriott Worsley Park. I'm going to give them a test. Now many of you know that feeling of what it's like to put new clubs in the bag and test them on the golf course. You just hope they do what you've seen maybe on testing or when you get fitted or when you first hit them on the drive range. I've kind of got that feeling so I'm excited to take these clubs out because I've got a new set of irons in the bag. Now I have tested the irons on GC Quad and the numbers are very very similar to the irons I already had in the bag. Now for me that's a positive. I didn't want a new set of irons that went super far. So that is a good tip from me. But what I want the irons to do today is to give me a bit more forgiveness, a bit more protection out of the rough. So I'm not the straightest driver of the golf ball in the world, so I so often do find the rough. So I think today, my objective is to shoot as close to level power as I can. Hopefully, I don't have a nightmare. That would be the worst if I had a nightmare round with my new clubs in the bag. But I'm gonna show you every single shot I hit out on the golf course today. Now, a bit of a side note, it's this time of year when golf course maintenance typically happens. And down here at the Marriott, they have holotine the greens. That's where they spike holes in the green. They're only small, but basically lets the green breathe. So it's that kind of time where I might not get the smoothest roll on the putting surface. But, I mean, that's, that's an excuse, right? Either way, without further ado, let's get to the first tee. Let's show you what the new clubs can potentially do. Am I going to play great? Or am I going to have a nightmare? Let's go and find out. Right, I've got to tell you this quickly. On the first hole, I've hit a great tee shot, but it's actually hit this path, bounced and finished here in the trees. If it would have missed the path, it would have been fine. But now I'm in the trees. Great start. So what can I say? Not the start I wanted. <laughs> Two over through four holes. I'm yet to hit a single decent golf shot. Sometimes that's the problem when you go out with expectation, thinking you're gonna play well, because you've got new clubs. Sometimes golf kicks you. Anyway, let's press on. Two par fives to come. Let's try and get a score back in place. Very ropey so far. Oh my God, that shot I've just hit has literally lipped out. Let's get down to the green. You might not be able to see it on there. It literally lipped out for a holding one. Right, so I'm just walking down to the green. 
You might be able to make this out now. Look how close it is. I'll get even closer in a sec. So up there is where I've hit from. Par three, seventh hole. It's come over the flag. It's landed there. I actually, maybe in hindsight, I don't think it did lip out. It looks like it spun back to there. Little six iron. Oh my goodness, that was close. You can see the greens have been hollow time. That's the work they've been doing. It landed there, finished there, and that is the simplest birdie to get me back to level par. Wow, that was close to a holding one. Unbelievably close. I'm actually weirdly glad it didn't go in because we didn't have the best camera shot on it and we weren't zoomed in. But either way, that was awesome. Right, back to level par. Let's carry on. So nine holes complete and I'm level par. Felt like after that very, very dodgy start, I've managed to settle the ship a little bit. Good birdie on number five, great birdie on number seven, as you saw when I nearly hold it. I'm liking the new irons. Uh, if you don't know as well, I've got these new tailor-made P7MCs in the bag. If you've not checked out the video, I'll link up there in the corner. Giving me everything that I want so far. Some of my other clubs haven't been behaving that great, but either way, bat nine, the sun's still shining, the wind's still blowing. Let's go. Let's try and put an under par back nine in. First round with the new set under par would be amazing. Let's see how we get on as I hit the back nine. I'll tell you what, if that shot is anything to go by, this back nine could be very lucky indeed. I tried to play a little fade around the corner here on number 10. I pulled it, hit a tree. I thought it was going to be dead. Hit a tree and it's bounced back out into play. Let's hope this back nine is full of luck. Sometimes you need a bit of that to put a decent score together. That's my lucky tree. That's where the ball's finished. Thankfully, back in play. Isn't golf great? <laughs> I got lucky, hit the tree, bounced back into play, hit a fantastic iron shot into the green there, left myself a great birdie opportunity, and then three put, one over par. Well done, Rick. Great job. Yes, that was a double bogey seven. Great work. Hit it in the water. 
terrible recovery kind of wedged it straight through the back of the green and luckily got up and down it's a double bogey that puts me two over now annoyingly two over with five holes left to play damn that's annoying Oh, I don't know why, on that shot, I got a really sharp pain in my car. Ow! <laughs> Luckily, I actually hit a decent shot, but... Oh, I've never ever had that before. I went for a run last night, maybe that was, maybe that's the reason. Oh, <laughs> at least I hit it okay, that would have been a nightmare if I'd have hit that bad. So that's where I hit from down there. This is the result. That's the best, worst golf swing I've ever done. The best result from the worst golf swing when I got injured. Anyway, let's try and get up and down. I need to start making some birdies again. So those two birdies then on 16 and 17 have definitely helped the scorecard. I'm now just one over par with the last hole to play the 18th hole, which is a par five. Hopefully if I birdie that, I get back to level par, which would be amazing. I've been pleased with the irons. I've not hit my best golf shots in the world today, but I'll be honest, everything I've asked for these irons have delivered. Good forgiveness, great out of the rough. My wedge game has been dire today, short game. My putting has been a little bit off by those last two putts. And I'll be honest, I've not hit my trusty driver that straight today, which is a shame. And even this guy let me down on that par five when I stuck it in the water. Either way, it's not really the clubs, I'll be honest. It's me maybe just not putting as much practice in, not playing as much golf. If you've enjoyed this style of video, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, I think you need to give me some love if I can make birdie on the last and get it back to level par. That would be amazing. And finally, another video I might do is looking a bit deeper into my own game my strengths and weaknesses and what i need to improve on uh, because at the moment i'm not firing on all cylinders i think i can play better than this either way i've enjoyed getting out on the golf course today let's play the last hole let's make birdie let's get back to level par that's the plan anyway let's see how we get on